what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana if this is your first time of checking me out please subscribe to my youtube channel so as part of the Wakanda one city of return project uh, the third day the beautiful people who participated in this event needed to be at the Cape Coast Castle. So the leader, Dr. Arikana Obukesi, uh, the chief of Cape Coast, my city, I'm proud to be from Cape Coast, yes. So we all assembled here, and it's been emotional, it's been spiritual, you know. Okay, shout out to Rabbi, who did all the moderation and everything. So we're gonna go to the female dungeon, um, the cells, and then we walk out from the door of no return, and then we have to come in from the door of it. This is symbolic, it shows that we have returned to the motherland. So thank you very much for checking me up. They want Mother Africa, but they don't want the African. And we are here tonight to say, no Africa without the African. That African people said that 400 years was up two years ago. And in order for 400 years to be up of enslavement and of a slave narrative, it means our minds must change. And what we will visit here tonight will show when we began to be changed from our dignified African self into new characters that were defined by our enemies. There was no African Americans that were captured on this continent 400 years ago. There were no Jamaicans captured on this continent 400 years ago. There were no Trinidadians. There were no Cubans. There were none of these names were known to us. Africans were captured and they remanufactured us in their image and their likeness and gave us new names and new titles. And this is the beginning of stripping us of that identity. When we see pictures of our ancestors naked, coming from the interior of Africa, it was to suggest that we did not have a culture, that we did not have customs, that we did not have... As a reminder of what our ancestors were. For us to be here today, after over 400 years, it signifies the resilience of a people. For us to be standing right here, <laughs> So as we throw the rocks into the Atlantic Ocean, we're going to tell the enslavers once and for all that while you may have won for over 400 years, victory is ultimately ours. For we are back, right at the very... We've gone through this so many times. We have remembered our ancestors what they went through 400 years ago. What are we doing? We, what are we doing? Are we going to continue talking? We will be back next year. We were here last year. We are going to be here next five years. What are we doing to concretize what the wrongs that were done to us? <coughs> Oh, 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 oh,
seat of government was here, and you had soldiers here, you had storehouses down here with real goods and stores here, beads and gold and ivory, and the storehouse in the bottom floor is here. You had the mess hall up here, the officer's mess hall, and the governor's quarters here. And those are the things you'll see and hear on a detailed tour. condition or experience and every day it was horrible because you didn't know what that day would bring you bore witness to what was happening and what was being experienced by fellow brothers and sisters but you had no idea what tomorrow would bring but coming through this door began to be the symbol that you would never make it back to that village again that you never back make it back to the embrace of your mother you never make it back to the strength uh, and the arm and the hand of your father. You never make it back to the campfire in that village. This door represented that. But there were those of our ancestors who believed so much in the power of African spirituality. They believed that if they spoke into the ethers and said, I'll be back, that they would come back. They believed if they took some of the soil of the ground and held it in their hand and said, I'm taking some of the soil with me and I'll be back, that they'll come back. They believed enough just to speak and call upon the name of their ancestors and the African gods that they would come with them, even in the diaspora, that they would be able to come back and they'd come back. That's who we are. We are those who they wish to come back in a new body and hopefully the new mind. Yes. We represent their victory. We represent their faith. We represent that the 
the African spirit is indomitable and can never be defeated. And it may have taken us centuries, but we are back. So we're going to walk through this door of no return, but the joy is that we're coming back through the door of return. That'll be that joy. John Rollins is going to the Caribbean. He went to Jamaica, he went to Trinidad and Tobago, and they were celebrating Emancipation Day. He was so touched and moved by the experience that he felt that not enough Africans on the continent understood our plight and our struggle. They think we all benefit, we all, uh, um, you know, made it and making big money in corporations and playing sports and entertainers. They don't know the struggle. They don't know the people in the graveyard. They don't know the incarceration rate in the prison. They don't know what we struggle through. They have no idea of knowing the struggle it is over there. So he brought that struggle back here so that we might know and may and those here might know part of the legacy and the struggle even for emancipation. And so on that occasion, two remains were brought back from the other side. One from the African in our mind. We know that we all respect her excellency in the work that she's doing and the call that she put out and the choice that we made to come here. But guess what? It wasn't our choice. We were chosen. A whole lot of people wanted to be here. A whole lot of people got the money. A whole lot of people had the intention. But to be in this number, you have to be chosen. And now that if we know and accept that we had to be chosen to give them permission to be here, we have to find the chosen for what? And what is that mission? We got work to do. Because it's a blessing. So many are called. Many are called. Many are called. That's who you are. You're the chosen. 